Florida. For more than half a century has been the world's most active spaceport. Lift off. Today, the global space marketplace is more dynamic than ever before, and we are witnessing a distinct shift in the industry toward proving commercial relevance. From courting budding new space entrepreneurs to helping major defense contractors expand their Florida presence, our state has been doing what it takes to stay ahead of the curve, but we cannot take this leadership for granted. At this moment, there are other states, New Mexico, Texas, California, and Virginia, to name a few, that are aggressively vying for the same business Florida has so long coveted. Offering competitive financial, infrastructure, and workplace incentives, these other states are close behind. Today, the state of Florida is utilizing a combination of winning strategies to ensure the aerospace sector continues to thrive here. Market diversification is at the forefront of these. As we work with a wide variety of companies in clean energy, new materials, UAV technologies, life sciences research, and alternative fuels. In the past two years, out-of-the-box thinking, combined with powerful state incentives and legislative support, have been the key to Florida's success in the aerospace sector. SpaceX is the front-runner in the U.S. commercial space race today. The company has expanded its Florida-based presence over the past five years in partnership with the state of Florida, which has provided significant financial, infrastructure, and equipment-related support. Today, SpaceX is leading the commercial space industry in demonstrating cost-effective and timely cargo delivery capabilities to the ISS. The state is working closely with companies like SpaceX to ensure they have the infrastructure, incentives, workforce, and political credibility needed to help Florida continue to shine as the birthplace of next-generation U.S. commercial space launch and exploration initiatives. The Boeing Company, a heavy hitter in Florida space industry, was selected by NASA to provide commercial crew transportation for the agency's next generation space program. While Boeing had opportunities to establish its commercial crew operations in any state, it chose Florida. State and local agencies worked together with NASA leadership at Kennedy Space Center to identify and refit a legacy space shuttle hangar for the new program, enabling significant cost savings on the project, which could result in up to 550 Florida-based jobs in the coming years. Similarly, Lockheed Martin Corporation is already doing manufacturing and final assembly of NASA's next-generation Orion spacecraft from the Operations and Checkout Building at KSC, a legacy Apollo-era processing facility. In 2012, the state of Florida, the Jacksonville Aviation Authority, and the FAA worked hand-in-hand -hand to award Cecil Field a spaceport license, making Florida the first state to have a true network of commercial spaceports. Cecil was deemed an official spaceport territory through House Bill 59, and that designation enabled space-related infrastructure upgrades, preparing the site for horizontal suborbital launches. The Center for Southeastern Tropical Advanced Remote Sensing, or CSTARS, at the University of Miami provides real-time high-resolution satellite imagery to support global research institutions. During the 2010 Gulf oil spill, CSTARS enabled extensive space-based remote sensing data to facilitate rapid response. Today, Florida's universities are expanding similar high-tech programs that utilize and benefit our state's space-based capabilities. The Institute for Human and Machine Cognition is a Pensacola-based, not-for-profit research institute of the Florida University System. Researchers at IHMC pioneer technologies aimed at leveraging and extending human capabilities both on Earth and in space. This innovative company designs prostheses that fit human and machine components together in ways that exploit their respective strengths and mitigate their weaknesses. The IHMC staff lends a level of innovation to Florida's high-tech economy that will continue to differentiate our state from others. The state of Florida cannot afford to lose the momentum it has gained over the last few years. By working together, our state and local agencies and elected officials have successfully secured and expanded enough space and aerospace companies to keep us in the lead nationally, but we are among even greater competition today. The continued aggressive efforts of state leadership are required to maintain this momentum. In the midst of economic challenges and competing priorities, 
Now is the time to set the table for the innovative aerospace companies that are looking for a place to grow and thrive. Help us make Florida that choice every time.